think socially the con- country has been fractured in the last four years. Uh, what do you hope happens after this inauguration tomorrow? And also, secondly, do you feel like you can still find your, your joy uh, playing basketball? thing that is you know pretty interesting in watching when you take a break from everything there's just so many assumptions about what's going on and so many people feel like they know me best they have no idea who I am nor what I'm about or what I stand for or even attempt to take the time or even for me to invite them to take the time so it's a two-way street um, and when things become overwhelming in life you know you just got to take a step back and realize what's important and I love to play that's never been questioned I've committed myself you know when this wasn't even a thing for me you know I didn't really care about media didn't really care about the fandom all I cared about was just the ethics of the game and being taught the fundamentals and now that it's become bigger and there's more of a responsibility that I have in this position I'm in I'm grateful because I'm able to stand on this platform with others alongside of me that have sacrificed and are going through similar things so I'm not alone in this and um, you know that's just a big thing about also mental health you know just coming in and being balanced with yourself first and then being able to perform Um, so you know with everything going on in the world politically um, socially like I said it's hard to ignore Um, I want to make changes daily you know there are so many oppressed community so many things going on that are bigger than just a ball going in the rim Um, so for me I I just like I said it's just the balance of it um, of knowing I can delegate my responsibilities uh, off the court to people that I'm surrounded around that are for the fight and are fighting behind the scenes and in front in the in the lines and you know like I said I'm not the only one that's fighting so I'm grateful to unify with others and um, that's all I've tried to do and on the court the same way just play with a smile leave something that I've uh, felt very dear to my heart with this game and then you know whatever my legacy is after that as a person that's all I really care about that's good Will Yahoo Sports hey Kyrie you you long mentioned how you are a symbol for something greater besides uh, being a basketball player what message do you want people to take from your absence and now showing back up uh, not necessarily your fans of the Brooklyn Nets but people Well, as you can see, uh, you know, there's a a deeper level of emotions that I have for um, helping and serving people around the world. And I've done it since I was a kid. I'll continue on um, way after basketball. And basketball has given enough, um, <laughs> might I say, perspective and attention on um, some of the things I've been into. And now that my life has changed, you know, with that change comes accepting that there are older versions of me that I didn't necessarily like or things that I would like to do different or conversations I would like to have with different people to address, you know, man to man talk or man to woman talk or or just honest talk. Uh, And we all deserve that. And, you know, there's nothing normal about this life that I live. (laughs) You know, there is just it's just something I've come to accept and embrace as let me use this as a tool to be able to change things that I want to see in the world. And I have to be honest with myself about how much energy I give that and how many others I'm actually impacting. So when I remove myself from something, you can definitely feel the weight and the absence definitely means something. And I'm aware of that. And like I said, I take full accountability. And to those who are leading with me and also following alongside, walking alongside me, we're going to get through this. And this world is is a wacky place at times, but as long as we persevere together and as long as we continue to just tell each other the truth about how we feel about each other, you know, that's a big thing. I just want honesty. And in order to be honest, I got to be honest myself. (laughs) And that's the first thing. So I know I can talk in circles and I know all these words get used, but I'm just being honest here. It's, It's been a lot. Um, to balance and now it's I called for help (laughs) and now I have just so many mentors and so many people reaching out and you know just taking things off my plate that were never mine in the first place and they are better suited for that position so I'll play my role on this big team of changing the world and others will do the same